And welcome back to the Dog Father's Toys. Okay, this is an update on the USS Enterprise Botany Bay model build. So here's what's been done. Yeah. The wires did not come with the Enterprise. I added them so I could light up the bridge dome and the sensor dome. Negan, put your head down. Okay, she's been painted. I gotta add that part right there where them two dots are. And... Hold on, I gotta cover up the dog's head. Okay, and I'll put in the part of the sensor dome. There's the bottom half of the Enterprise. The rear shot. And I ain't hooked. <laughs> Hooked up the battery since I did it because I got some more work to do. Uh oh. Negan, please stop. That's why come when I want to do something. That's when you two want to. Okay, here's one of the warp nacelles. And. Before it said, yes, I have not attached it to the Enterprise because it's got to get a decal on the side of it. Along with the other side. So, but basically, uh, uh, oh. Well, at least I know where the camera's at. It's on the bottom. But it'd be... Let's see. Like that. Well, let me get a switch hands here. On both sides and I just got to figure out where to put the decal to make it look right I know it probably goes along the edge right there alrighty I fixed it where it's on my so when I get all that done and also, I got to put some decals on the pylons. So, it'd be hard to do with the warp nacelles there. So, and then I got to put some decals on the side. And then the ones on top. Now, one thing I have found, these things are not the... The best at hold on no oh, sorry about that I had a sneeze and I didn't think you wanted to hear it well like I was saying I I look like I'm gonna have to go in there and pry it open a little bit and right like right right there then put a clamp on it, get the seal down a little bit better. That's what I had to do with the front. Uh, but other than that, everything else looks pretty good. And now for the other ship. Yep, the Botany Bay. 
I, uh, it came in like an orange color like you see right there. I thought I covered that up with paint, but oh well. Uh, finger got wrapped up in the cord. So I painted it the same color as the Enterprise and highlighted the boxes and the lines on the, well, it looked like cargo holds. And then I went back and I got a, what they call dry brush brushing and dried brush some black on there, make it look like she's been gotten dirty in space for over because she's been in space for over what 300 years or so so i kind of dirtied her up a little bit and there's another case of gappage but that came from when i had put the engine section on and well i can't get the clothes so i'm just gonna have to live with it But all in all, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I probably could have done better. Here's the bottom half of it, you know. I'm not the, this is the first time I ever tried airbrushing, so I think I did pretty good. Not airbrushing, dry brushing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So. And dry brush is basically just what I call the Bob V, uh, Bob Ross technique, the model painting. You just barely get enough on the tip of the brush and just like dab like that. I've got some dry brushes and I just did that with a regular brush because since it was just a little bitty part and i think it you know i to me it came out pretty good so so that's it for this i mean next time i will probably have the decals put on and the the warp nacelles installed So, but all in all, one thing I'm not used to seeing, um, for some reason it's just freaking me out seeing an Enterprise in the grayish tint. Uh, for my, for my lifetime, the Enterprise was always white. I mean, it ain't look that bad. I mean, I'll probably do... The original series enterprises, you know, I'm going to try a lighter gray, even lighter gray. I mean, I got light gray spray paint, not spray paint, but airbrush paint. And I may add a couple of drops of white to just lighten it out even more. And see what that looks like. But not with this. And then, but for the refit and the NCC 1701As, I wanted to go pearl white on them. I've already decided. To me, the next the the movie Enterprises were white. I've looked and I've looked. Now, until you get right up close to it, you see what they call Aztecan. And I'm not, and that, that's not cheap, and it's, well, I ain't got the skills for it. <laughs> so, but drop me a line, tell me what you think about this. Tell me I'm doing a good job, tell me I'm doing a sucky job. I mean, I'm, I won't get offended, <laughs> I may agree with you. This is the first time I've built an Enterprise in forever. And I mean, it was, I mean, it took whittling and cussing and more whittling and a lot more cussing to get the 
primary section hooked to the second secondary part of the ship because it would not snap in like it's supposed to. And it may have something to do with the wire, too. I'm not going to sit there and say it's the model company's fault because it may have been the wires. But after this, I'm going to move away from Enterprises for, or Star Trek for at least one month. I may do a, 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 a the Hulk from Space 1999 or uh, I got another one over there. Uh, the ship from Land of the Giants. They call it a spaceship, but I really don't see it being a spaceship. It looks just like a, it just went sub -or orbital to travel to from. It's like a fancy airplane, I call it. I mean, I've wa I watched two episodes so far of it. I bought them on Voodoo just to get see what it was about. Cause I like the ship. Just like I like uh, the, it was from the same people who made. Uh, Lost in Space, uh, Irwin Allen, and I love to find an original Jupiter 2. I think I've ordered the robot model, I'm going to put it together, and uh, uh, what else, I mean I bought, I, uh, what else, I bought another model and I can't think of it now. They got one on eBay I like to do. I seen it. It was the uh, the Incredible Hulk. And the guy wants $10. He screwed it up and The only thing keeping me from getting it he wants $12 for shipping. I'm not going to pay $12 shipping on a $9 item. That's like so sales tax you pay more on sales tax than you do the per the purchase no, i don't think so when they he probably shipping it for five he's trying to make his money back because he screwed up the model but i know i got another model to last week and i cannot think of it now but i'm not gonna worry about it we'll get to it sooner or later and as always, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate my subscribers that have. Uh, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And until the next video, I'll see you out there. Bye-bye.